Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 21st, 2019. So I hope everyone had a great weekend. You're ready to crank it up for this week. We have an interesting week ahead of us in the market. And considering how the market reacted on Friday, it could be a little bit complicated. So what's going on? Well, first off, we had kind of a rough day on Friday, particularly in the Dow with some selling coming into place. And it was really led by Boeing. Boeing accounted for the biggest part of that selling in the Dow. Um, after it was learned, they may have misled the FAA on the safety of the 737 MAX. So we'll have to wait and see how that will continue to affect the index. You can see Boeing looking to gaps a little bit lower this morning um, to, to, for today's open. So we'll have to wait and see. We also learned that J&J may have not been truthful about the fact that there was asbestos, a trace amount of asbestos in their baby powder, creating a pretty darn ugly selling candle here on Friday. And that's looking to move up just slightly here this morning, but obviously they've got some problems ahead of them. And that really affected the, the diamonds um, indexes uh, or index pretty hard and kind of drug the rest of the indexes down. Now there was also, of course, the uncertainty and probably a little bit of uh, preventive selling ahead of a possible Brexit vote which we now know has been postponed. Um, the Prime Minister has been forced to ask begrudgingly for a extension from the European Union, which of course the European Union does not, they're not obligated to grant that. And there has been quite a little bit of talk about not granting, um, uh, you know, putting the pressure on Brecht, um, the Britain to get something done, but it's unlikely, I think it's probably unlikely that they want a, a no deal Brexit. So we'll have to wait and see, but that uncertainty is now um, back on the table um, this morning. And remember the deadline is uh, the end of the month. So they've only got about 10 days to get things done here. We'll see what happens as that progresses. Let's take a look at the technicals here in the chart. First off, I am not sure what, what we're showing here in TC2000, if that is showing up as a bad tick or if we actually had a tick all the way up there. I'm not really sure on that, but um, early on Friday that was produced, leaving this really ugly candle here on the day, but I'm not sure if that is just a bad tick in the chart. So kind of keep that in mind. Right now, what do we have? Well, what we have is we have a downtrend. We have a downtrend continuing to hold itself in this current chart, but we have the, um, the good news um, is that we have relatively held um, price support levels here in the chart and we're holding above our 50-day moving average. Notice our 50-day moving average is turned up. So if the bulls can pick back up and hold hold this area here, we can still be in a, in a good situation. I talked on Friday how I thought the possibility we might be slipping into a bit of consolidation. Now that consolidation is still possible, although a rather wide range consolidation here this morning. And as you can see right now, the diamonds are looking to rally just a little bit this morning with a little bit of bullishness ahead of earnings reports. They have slipped back from overnight uh, numbers, but are holding up pretty well overall this morning and showing just a little bit of uh, confidence here. So um, ahead of a pretty big round of earnings and a big week of earnings uh, this week. So let's keep an eye on that this morning. But right now, trying to show a little bit of encouraging price action here. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, virtually the same thing. Now, although 
um, you know, SPY held up significantly better than the Dow did, we still have this problem here of this possible downtrend where we have a spending top up here and then a bit of a failure pattern. Right now, what we need to see is we need to see that market hold up. And this morning, we're looking at the S&P 500 futures that are pointing to that positive open. So, so far, we've kind of held right in here off of this price support. And as you can see this morning, we are looking to uh, move up just slightly here in this price action. So if we can move above or hold in this support area, I still think we're going to be okay for that little consolidation, although it may be just a little bit more choppy than we thought. As we wait on those earnings reports to find out whether those earnings reports are going to inspire us higher or lower. So let's keep an eye on that. We're still in pretty good shape here on the SPY. The Qs suffered a little bit more damage than I think a lot of folks would have liked to have seen with um, kind of a failure pattern up here. We're, we have this uh, seemingly a, a double top or one could even call this a triple top a possible failure and we've dropped um, significantly on Friday. But the good news is we're here once again is we're still holding above some important levels of price support in here. We're hanging in there not really falling all the way back down and we still have a gap below that could be filled like all the other indexes but we're holding above that 50-day moving average so all is not lost yet and this morning we're seeing a little bit of bullishness coming in and it's really going to be interesting this week how we perform around all of these earnings reports as they start to roll out this week let's take a look at iwm IWM has just really been confusing. Um, it, it's like it can't, it doesn't really know what to do with itself. It's playing, uh, it plays against the market all the time. Um, it's kind of a funny thing to watch. But I, I guess the, the bullish news on this is that we did get back above our 50-day moving average. And as of the close of Friday, we held right there above that 200-day moving average, even though our 50 and is still below uh, that 200 with what they call the death cross. But we still have this long-term downtrend that has yet to be defeated. We need to break above that and hold it as support. We tried once, we tried to break above, but was unable to hold it. We need to get back up there and then prove to hold this area and see if we can move off of that. But right now, IWM just doesn't seem um, all that healthy here. We just need a little bit more uh, push to the upside. And this morning, you can see IWM is looking just a tiny bit higher here this morning, trying to show that bullishness. So maybe, they may, maybe they'll get into the game. We'll have to wait and see. Let's take a look at uh, the VIX. Our VIX had a little bit of fluctuation on Friday, but I gotta say overall, the VIX did a pretty good job of just hanging in there. It didn't really um, get too fearful in the selling, and as you can see by the end of the day, that fear dropped out. This morning, a little bit of bullishness that would um, would assume I would assume we would continue to see that fear uh, stay diminished down here um, in these low areas. So right now we're doing okay. It'll it's really going to depend on how these earnings come out this week and that uncertainty around that. So right now we're holding up okay here in the VIX. And I honestly don't think we're going to have a major problem with the VIX unless we gap or move back above this level here and then prove to hold it as support. That will be a problem for us. But as long as we stay down in these, this area, I think we're gonna be okay overall. Let's take a look at T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And if we take a look at T2122, we have upside room here in this chart. One thing about T2122, it really doesn't give us daily signals as to whether we're going to move up or move down. It doesn't do that. What it does show us is that we have room to move 
up or whether we have room to move down. Right now we are looking at a T2122 that has plenty of upside room here uh, for us to move up. And it also is showing us a bigger potential or a bigger, not I shouldn't say potential, a bigger uh, uh, possibility of a down move if we started moving in the, that direction. But right now the bulls are starting are holding this up. And as a matter of fact, they're gaining some ground here this morning as I talk. Right now Dow futures are up 44 points. They were only up about 25 when I started this video. So we've had some earnings come in apparently that would um, apparently be good. And um, we're starting to see... Um, um, some bullishness work its way into the market this morning for just a little bit more of a positive open. Let's take a look um, at our economic calendar today. And our economic calendar is really doesn't have much to say about uh, the market today. If we take a look right here, um, we've got a couple of bond auctions and a Fed speaker. So, um, all the attention will be directed toward these big policy issues and earnings reports. What we do want to make note of for um, this week is that we have a pretty important um, report here on Tuesday, existing home sales. Um, we have the petroleum status report on Wednesday, but then probably the bigger report of the week is going to be over here with durable goods and uh, the new home sales. So we'll want to watch those pretty closely. Obviously, PMI flash um, is an important number and we'll have to keep an eye on that, but certainly not nearly as important as these two so not a major week but there are some important um, reports to be um, considered this week and then uh, just a huge number of earnings to be addressed this week um, as we ramp up the fourth quarter so we have several hundred reports this week where we will dive into some of the industrials you know such and multinationals um, you know, such as Caterpillar. It'll be interesting to see how Caterpillar reports with, um, you know, the slowing economy that we might be seeing in China. So that's going to be uh, pretty critical as we move uh, throughout this week, how these big companies and some of those big techs start to report. And let's hope that they continue with um, that bullishness that we saw in the big banks and things last week. So we'll want to watch that stuff pretty close. The market's going to be pretty sensitive to those um, earnings reports. Keep in mind that anytime we have earnings reports, we are subject to gap up and gap down mornings. So you're going to want to plan your trading um, around that circumstance where we get that possibility of a large gap up or a large gap down depending on how those earnings come out. So just plan your trading carefully and realize that we are likely to see that earnings volatility begin to spike back up in the market. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and there'll be a pop up that, that comes up. Make sure you click that bell icon so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, guys, we have uh, this channel. We're over 600 videos now doing daily videos all the time and all of the public training videos that I put out there and um, if you guys uh, find this morning's video useful could you do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment all those comments help the algorithms show these videos to more folks and um, help us grow and I want to say thank you very much for everyone who takes the time to do that you guys leave such wonderful comments I truly truly appreciate it um, true, uh, honestly, you guys are the best. I, 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 I do my very best at putting out good quality content with, without hype, without prediction. And, um, honestly, um, I'm humbled by the fact that so many people are following and, um, using, utilizing this information. So thank you very much. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up. 
Now remember, anytime I show a chart here as a possibility um, that it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security, but um, want to point out some charts that are actually setting up pretty well and might be something that you want to put on your watch list to pay attention to. Let's take a look at uh, a chart called uh, LW. LW has been in this beautiful uptrend, as you can see, this gorgeous uptrend. And this is um, uh, what we call uh, PBOs or pullback opportunities where we get this nice steady consistency in a chart when we pull back to the trend we find opportunities to buy and you can see that could be going on right here in LW right now now don't be too surprised if LW has to rest here a little bit and you know slip sideways just a little while before it has that opportunity to move up but we'll want to keep an eye on that it's been very very bullish and there's nothing in this chart right now to say that we that should change here anytime soon so keep an eye on LW um, another chart I've been keeping an eye on is Weight Watchers and you can see Weight Watchers has moved up in this nice trend and we're, we're kind of consolidating this move over toward the trend now we've had a couple of bad days in here but what we want to see is how do we react to this trend in here how do we react to this support it is possible this could fail on through but I want to watch this for that opportunity that this may pop on up in here um, over the next few days and start to lift higher so watch that if this were to break out through here looks like there could be some new highs coming in that chart if that does occur take a look at roku I mentioned roku um last week and roku has done this nice move up but boy yesterday or friday was a, a very uncomfortable day in this chart it's hard to know when a chart has that kind of uh, goofy price action what it's going to do from here but right as as i look at this chart and kind of look at the support resistance um some of the trend in here the fact that we held up in that trend that volatility that came into the market may not be too bad we'll have to wait and see if it follows through to the downside or if it happens to catch in this support area and find that bullishness but we'll want to watch that pretty closely roku could be um, on the move either for a bullish trade or a bearish trade and we'll want to keep an eye on on that take a look at nike now nike has been really really strong and what's interesting to me is as i look through charts um and, and spent a lot of time looking through charts this weekend um we have a lot of retailers showing strength nike being one of those nike's been in a nice move up i don't know don't think i would chase this move this far up into its move but I think any rest consolidation or pullback that moves over into here may be an opportunity on that trade so keep that in mind um, bullishness um, moving around the market right now this doesn't report until 1219 so there may be some opportunity here in this chart take a look at DOCU now DOCU was looking really really good last week in this nice little tight consolidation and then got hit with that volatility on Friday let's see if DOCU can kind of hold right in this area hang in this um, support area and start to pick back up if not this could become a failure and we'll want to watch that pretty closely take a look at target target looking very good we've been talking about this and in, in right way options quite a while and and target looking very good moving up strongly here um, holding up overall and there again some more of that retail target um, home depot um, you can um, um, look at uh, GPS trying to come up out of this down move we've got Nordstrom's moving we've got just a lot of charts in that retail sector trying to show some signs of growth now obviously GPS gapping down on Friday uh, disappointing and may actually turn into a failure but we're seeing a lot of retail movement going on here in the market um, might want to keep a, uh, an eye on some of the telecommunications. AT&T, beautiful move here on Friday, 
popping through. You can see breaking this resistance right in here, popping on up. Now there is still another resistance level here to think about, but right now AT&T looking pretty good. A little rest, a little consolidation back in here. Looks like there may be an opportunity. And if you look at this on a longer term chart, there is a really nice looking longer term trade possibly set up here where we've broken this downtrend. We've moved moving up nicely in a trend. Any rest, pullback or consolidation could set up that opportunity for more upside. And this is a big dividend player when there's uncertainty in the market. Um, folks might start looking towards some of these bigger dividend plays. And you can see right there, um, a decent dividend overall in AT&T. So you might want to keep an eye on that. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And once again, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, make sure and click that subscribe button and click those thumbs up buttons. I truly, truly appreciate it. Leave a comment. You guys are awesome. I want to wish you all the best. Have a great day. We'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one.